بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله These are some exercises about section 6.2 compound interest uh, Find the requested value What is the requested value here? S And identify each of other values as the periodic rate So what is the periodic rate? And number of periods. What is the number of periods? How many periods are there? And the principle. What is the principle? And the future value. Well, the future value is the one we need to find. So S is the future value. You remember the formula, it is S equals P times 1 plus I to the power N. So the periodic rate is in fact 0 0.02, which is by definition equals to R okay, over R is the annual interest rate over M, which is the number of uh, compounded periods per year. And, and we don't know them here, but I'm just illustrating the formulas for you. The number of periods is n, which is equal to 24. And in general, n equals to the number of periodic, uh, number of periodic times per year, which is m, times t, the number of years. And it is here 24. The principle is, I guess all of us know, it is the 2000, and the future value is the one we need to find. So when I multiply the 20,000 times 1.02 to the power 24, I get the future value, which is 3216.87. So this is uh, the future value. Identify in question three, identify the annual interest rate. Well, he said 8% compounded quarterly for seven years. So the annual interest rate is the 8%, or we write it like this, 0 0.08. The length of the investment uh, in years, okay? So how many years? What is the length of the investment in years? How many years? Well, he said for seven years. So the answer is, is seven. Uh, and this is usually we denote by T, number of years. The periodic interest rate, okay? Periodic interest rate, uh, is now the periodic in, in one period, the periodic interest rate. So in this case, we find R, we call it I, the periodic interest rate, and it is R over M, number of periods. So R is 0 0.08, and number of periodic or periods per year, he said quarterly, so we have four periods. So then the periodic interest rate is 0 0.02. And the number of periods of the investment in general, okay, he is asking about N. And it is M times T. So the number of periods in general, it is seven years, the number of years, and quarterly, so four times a year. So four times seven, we will have 28. So this is the number of periods of the investment in general is 28. Find the future value, which is S. 
if 8,000, so this is P, is invested 14 years, so this is T, at 12%, this is R, compounded annually, so M is 1. So it's 8,000 times 1 plus uh, R, which is 0.12, over 1, because M is 1, to the power T times M, so it is T. And you find the answer by the calculator. And the future value is 24,846.79 dollars. So this is the future value. Of course, it's greater than the present value. What are the future value? So he's asking about S. The interest, the interest is I. And you remember the interest is S the future value minus P, minus the present value. Interest rate or the principal. This is the principal, 3,200, is invested for five years. This is T, R percent, compounded quarterly, so M is four. Number of compounded periods per year, which is M is four. So the future value, the formula is P times one, let me immediately use the formula. Fine, write the values. So 3,200 times 1 plus R, which is 0 0.08, over M, which is 4, to the power M times T. So this is the number of, the total number of periods. It would be 20. I can find uh, the answer. And the answer is 475.03. So the interest would be this amount minus the principal, which is 3,200. And it would be 1555.03 dollars. Of course, uh, you write always. Uh, dollars. Everything is in, in dollars. What lump sum do parents need to deposit? So what you need to deposit now is actually P, the principal. Okay, it is called here lump lump sum. Uh, <clears throat> you need to deposit in an account earning ten percent. So this is R compounded monthly, so M is 12, so that it will grow to 80,000. It will grow to 80,000. So this P will be in the future. So the future value is 80,000 for their son's college fund in 18 years. So this is the number of years, which is T. So I have S here. S is 80,000. And P is known, is needed, 1 plus R, which is 0.1, over M12 to the power M12 times 18, which is T. So you can find P by dividing 80,000 over uh, this quantity. And uh, the answer is one three three two two point nine. So this is the lump sum they need to deposit right now. What present value? So again, he's asking about the present value or the principal. Amounts to, so it would be in the future, 10,000. This is 
what we mean by amounts to. If it is invested for 10 years, this is T, 6%, this is R, compounded annually, so M is 1. So the future value is there, 10,000, and P is required, 1 plus R is 0 0.06 over 1 to the power M, which is 1 times T, which is 10. So again, I can find P by dividing the 10,000 over this number. And the answer is 5583.95. So this is the present value. Of course, the present value is less than the future value. Find the future value. So he needs S. If P is invested for four years, 9% continuously. Okay. For continuously, the formula is S equals P times E to the power RT. So P is 5,100. E to the power R is 0 0.09. 9% times T, which is 4. So you, you try to use the calculator to get the answers, to get uh, used uh, for finding the answers. So 7309.98, this is the future value. It's for sure greater than the present value. What is the compound interest? So he's asking about the interest. And the interest is S minus P. If $41,000 is invested, so this is the P, the principal, for 10 years at R8% compounding continuously. So let us find the future value first, and then we find the compounded interest. The future value is 41,000, okay, times e to the power rt, 0 0.08, times t, which is 10. So the future value is equal to 91, 247.18. So the compounded interest or the interest would be I subtract 91 minus the original value, which is 41,000. So the answer is 5247.18 dollars. This is the compounded interest after 10 years. Which investment will earn more money. 1,000 investment for five years. So this is the principal. This is T. This is R compounded annually. So M is one. Which investment will earn more money? Okay. Or 1,000 invest investment for five years compounded continuously at 7%. So let us see first the future value of the first investment, it is 1,000 times 1 plus compounded annually. So R is 0 0.08 to the power 5, M is 1. So what is the future value of this investment? Using the calculator, it is 1, 4. 69.33 the second type of investment continuously so the future value is in this case is 1000 times e to the power r is 0.7 and t is 5 it is 141 
So which investment will earn more the first? The first will earn uh, what? One four six nine minus one four one nine. Fifty will earn fifty point two six dollars more than the second. So here, eighty percent compounded annually is better than seventy seven eight percent. Sorry, is better than seven percent compounded continuously. Find the annual percentage yield APY for an investment at. 7.3 compounded monthly. So we said that this is 7.3 compounded monthly. It is better than 7.3 compounded annually because this is compounded monthly, 12 times a year. So what is what would be the annual percentage yield? What would be the percentage at the end of the year? Okay, what is the percentage at the end of the year? It's not 7.3. It must be better than that. So the annual percentage yield for the formula, uh, it is the same formula of the compounded uh, interest, but P, we put P1, so there is no P, so it's 1 plus I to the power M because M is... Because n, we usually have n here, it is m times t, but t is also 1. So we put p1 and t1 because we need to find after one year, what is at the end of the year, what is the interest. This would give you s, the future value. You subtract from p, which is 1, because we chose p1. This will give you the annual percentage yield. So it's 1 plus i is 0.073 R divided by M, the number of uh, compounded periods per year to the power 12 minus 1. This will give you the annual percentage yield. And the answer should be better than 7.7.3 it's 0 0.0755 so if you multiply by 100 you find that the annual percentage yield is 7.55 percent which is better than 7.3 so when you when 7.3 percent compounded monthly at the end of the year, you are going to get 7.55%. This is the annual percentage yield. 6% compounded continuously. The annual percentage yield here is P is 1, E to the power RT, T is 1. So it is ER minus 1, the P we found, S minus P. And we chose P as 1. So it is e to the power 0 0.06 minus 1, and it should be better than uh, the 6%, of course, because 6% annually, but now we are using this 6% uh, compounded continuously. So at the end of the year, what is the interest rate I will get? Well, I will get 0 0.062, okay, 1.8 or 2. Uh, let me write it one eight. One eight. If I multiply by hundred, then the annual percentage yield will be six point eighteen percent. So this six percent would be six point eighteen percent at the end of the year. How long in years would seven hundred dollar? So this is B. P, this is P, how long in years, so he's asking about T, have to be invested at 11.9%, this is a nice interest rate, R, 0.119, compounded continuously, 
to earn this is the interest to earn uh, 300 interest we know that the future value uh, is equal to 700 times p times e to the power r t okay t is not known we need to find it and the future value we need to find it what is the future value the future value is the principal or the present value plus the interest so he said here that 700 will earn an interest of 300 so if you add 700 plus 300 you get 1000 so this is the future value we put it in the formula now how can we solve this equation for t first you have to get rid of the 700 so i have to divide 1000 by 700 so i get 10 over 7 and now when you have the equation like this you can apply len you can take the len of both sides and why because we have a property of the len we know that len times e len of e to the power x is just x they cancel each other so len 10 over 7 would be equal to 0.119 t and now to find t i just divide len 10 over 7 by 0.119 and i will have t so t in years is 2.997 so it's approximately three years okay so approximately three years this is uh, how long what nominal rate nominal rate is the annual rate which is r compounded quarterly so m is four would twenty thousand dollar have to be invested to amount to so this is s 26 in seven years so this is t so he is asking about r well the future value is 26425.82 the present value is 20000 1 plus r which is unknown over m which is 4 number of compounded periods per year to the power 4 times t which is 7 and we need to solve this equation for r well to solve this equation for r we need first to divide by what the 20,000 so divide both sides by the 20,000 and I will get 1.321291 to the power 28 now how can I solve this equation for r I need to get rid of this 28 so I need to apply len to both sides because I have a formula or a property for len that says if you have len b to the power r you can write it r len b so i will have len 1.321291 equals to len 1 plus r over 4 to the power 28 and i can find the len of this number it is 0.2786 okay equals to 28 times len 1 plus r over 4 now what should i do i need to get rid of the 28 so i divide both sides by 28 
and then I'll get 9.95 .9 times 10 to the power negative 3 by the calculator and this is equal to ln 1 plus r over 4 and now to solve to get rid of the ln I raise both sides to the base e okay because e to the power ln x is just x so I have e to the power 9.95 times 10 to the power negative 3 is equal to e to the power ln 1 plus r over 4 and if I find e to the power I'll get 1.01 1 .01. okay this is equals e cancels cancels ln now and I have 1 plus r to the power 4 and now it's easy to continue I subtract 1 from both sides so when I subtract 1 I get 0 0.01 equals r to the power 4 and now I multiply by 4 and the answer would be 0 0.04 so r here is 4 percent uh, well I, I, I think you need to review it again because we applied len and we applied e it was a long uh, process but this is how we solve the problem a couple needs 45,000 so this is what they need so it would be the future value as a down payment for a home if they invest now $30,000 they have at 8% compounded quarterly how long will it take the money to grow to the future value which is 45,000 so the future value is known and the present value is 30,000 times 1 plus R is 0 0.08 and M is 4 times 4 to the power 4 times t and I need to solve this equation for t well as we did as we have seen first step would be what to divide the 40,000 by the 30,000 and the answer is 3 over 2 or just 1.5 and 1 plus 0 0.08 over 4 is just 1.02 so instead of writing it again and again it is 1.02 to the power 40 and now as usual I need to apply len and when I apply len I can bring 40 here and now t would be len 1.5 okay look to this two sides over 4 times len 1.02 so just divide these quantities and you will get the answer and the answer is 5 0.12 okay 5.12 what years so this is the number of years 5.12 years this is the end of uh, the exercises i hope you understand now 6.2 clearly